Good evening, Miss. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We will start in three minutes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, disculpe, antes que iniciemos la, la, la clase, ¿cree sí, que no sería más ordenado si para participar este, mejor levantáramos la mano para ser ordenado? Porque a veces usted hace una pregunta y todo el mundo contesta, no se entiende. Sí, sí, y para idea. ver lo de la pronunciación. I agree ¿Sí? with you. Yes. I agree with you. Digo. It's ok. Ok. Yes. Thanks for your comment. Almost is the time. Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? In my case, fine. I am fine. Thank you. Fine. I'm happy and fine too. Okay. How I'm was your you. day? How was your day? It was terrible. It was nice. It was hard. How was your day? In my case, uh, I was okay. It, it was okay. Um, it was okay. Uh, Hello. A little, a little tired, but everything okay. Okay. Another opinion? How was your day? Please cross your good. hand. Good. Okay, Byron. Okay. More opinions. Do you remember about the, the topic of our last class? Did you remember what topic we saw yesterday in class? Yes, we were talking mm -hmm. about the vocabulary. About what? Vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary. Clauses with it and the want, likes, neutral, uh, negative, Excellent. This is our last topic today class. And then we will continue with this topic. Now, close with it and our verbal close with then. I told you yesterday that use it as a subject of a sentence when trying to introduce new information and to talk about the time or the date, uh, to talk about weather, to express opinions about places, situations, and events, and use when is used, when is used to indicate 
short actions that fall in the middle of a longer action. Here we have the first examples. I like it. I don't mind it. I can stand it. It makes me happy. It bothers me. It upsets me. Do you remember what is the meaning of this one? For example, I like it. What is the meaning of I like it? Me gusta. Yes. What is the meaning of I don't mind it? I don't mind it. No me importa. It. Okay. What about number three? I can stand it. No puedo soportarlo o no lo soporto. Yeah. It makes me happy. Me hace feliz me hace o feliz. me alegra. Excellent. It bothers me. Me molesta. It upsets me. The same, right? También me yeah. molesta. Yes. Both are the same. Then, I like it when a teacher is helpful and, and supportive. I don't mind it when a friend visits without calling me first. I can stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. It makes me happy when people do nice things for no reason. It bothers me. It bothers me when my doctor arrives. Please. We have we have interference. Please put in mute. Please. Ponga en silencio quien está hablando porque estamos escuchando todos los demás. Please. Sorry. Now, it made me happy when people do nice things for no reason. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. It upsets me when a, a close friend forgets my birthday. Yesterday I read this information, right? Yes. Now, this is the formula to put the information. This is the formula. Close with it is subject plus verb plus it. Subject is I in this case. Verb is like and it. Subject, verb and it. Now with when is when plus subject in the first line the subject is teacher and verb when a teacher is helpful helpful is the verb in this case plus verb when plus subject plus verb is the the for for this situation now here we have some examples. In number one, when someone gives me a compliment, please raise your hand if you if you want to participate. Yeah. Now, in number one, who helped me? In number one, what clothes with it we can choose for this sentence? For number one, what clothes with it? You can, you can use this. I like it. I like it. I like it when someone gives, gives me an a compliment. Yes. And someone tell, I don't like it, right? Tell me, Natalie. You can also use, it makes me happy when someone gives me a compliment. 
Excellent. It's made me happy too. Excellent. Now, uh, in number two, in this case, in number one, it makes me happy. It depends. It makes me happy. When someone gives me a compliment and another, which one? ¿Cuál fue la otra que me dijeron? I like it, right? Like it. Okay. Yeah. I like it. When someone gives me a compliment. For number two, Aleli, thanks. For number two. Aleli? You want to participate? Uh, yes, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, it bothers, bothers me when people and throw trash on the ground. Okay. In number it, two. In number two. It bothers me when people throw trash on the ground. Another, another opinion? Tell me. It upsets me. It upsets me. Okay. Let me read the chat. Okay. Anna, do you want to participate, Anna? Yes. It adds, adds it. Okay. Now, in for number three, who wants to participate for number three? For number three, when I get phone calls on my birthday. When I get phone calls on my birthday. Rosemary, tell me, Rosemary. Um, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Okay, excellent. Another, another opinion? I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it too. Okay. There is different opinions. Here we have different opinions, but all, all of them are good. It makes me happy when I get phone calls on my birthday. I like it when I get phone calls on my birthday. I love it when I get phone calls on my birthday. Yeah? Now, this is the uh, short clothes and, and this is the longer, the longer clothes. Yes? Now, can you tell me another example? Who wants to participate? Tell me another example. Yes. Here we have another. When, let me see, when, okay, when people call me late at night, when people call me late at night, okay, what is your opinion? It bothers me. 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 In my opinion, it depends. It depends the case because if it's an emergency, it's okay, right? Only for emergency. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It bothers me. Another opinion? 
Another opinion? I Only one. It. Tell me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when people call me late at night. Okay. Now, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's okay. I can stand it. Okay. Now, do you have any questions for this topic or everything is okay? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, please remember that if you have any question about this topic, you can you can write me after after class. There is no problem. And I explain again. There is no problem, right? But the most important that is you you are right and you stand you understand in a best way the topic. Now, okay, it's okay, right, for this one. Now, next, we have here reading. This reading is named The Amazing World of APPS. The Amazing World of APPS. First, I need to, I, I put the audio and then listen to the audio and read at the same time. Please pay attention and try to analyze the information. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. I'm ready. Okay, the amazing world, let me see. It's okay the letter or you need bigger? It's okay. Me teacher. It's okay for okay. me. It's okay. It's okay for me too. Okay, let me see. In 2010, the American Dialect In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Next, 
not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. Okay. Did you pay attention to the reading? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening. Good evening teacher. Sorry, I can't enter to the meeting. Ah, okay, oh, that is no, no problem. That okay. is no problem. Yeah, but the most, you write me, uh, yes? Okay, you write me. Ah, ah, okay. I can, it, it was impossible to answer because we are in class, right? But I like, I like it because you are here. Now, okay, okay. Uh, reading the amazing world of APPS. Do you, did you, or do you listen again? Do you want to listen again? Or everything is okay? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Again. I, again. Yes, teacher. Again. Okay. Again, please pay attention to the, this audio. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose out as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. Okay, now try to remember the this information is in the platform and then it's very important see the classes on the platform and before you connect with with me but it's very important do the exercise on the platform and see the class there too there is this reading and you can listen again right because we because there are an exercise on the platform about this reading and then check the situation please and check the information now do you have any questions for this vocabulary are there new words for you New words? Yes, I have a question. In yes. the in the last word, 
I, I, I don't understand these words. Which one? The left. Pro, 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 in, which, pro, in, in which line? In the last line. The last? This yeah. one? Ah, right. okay. It's uh, profitable. Profitable, okay. it means rentable. Ah, okay. Yes, in Spanish. Okay. They are also profitable. Profitable. Okay. Dice que yeah. son rentables. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Another? Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes. Um, what is meaning of hanging up? Hanging up. Hanging up. Let me see. Handing out. Second it text. means. Let me see. Second In... text, teacher. Second. Yes. Here. Ah, hanging out of the mall. It's pasando el rato en un centro comercial. Hanging out at the mall. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Another? Teacher, what is, me? the mini, what is the mini the first paragraph? Download, downloaded. Da, yes, downloaded, it means descargados. Ok. Yes, in Spanish, son de las descargas. Ok, this APPS that can be down and pueden ser descargadas. For entertainment, shopping, okay. sport, score, or anything else you might be interested in. Yeah. Another? What is forecast? Broadcast es broadcast es el eh, let me see la información del tiempo like Moisés Urbina ya yeah, que da la información del tiempo about the weather broadcast is let me see in which one weather a ah, forecast no broadcast uh, tell me teacher what is the I, meaning of forecast Broadcast or oh, forecast. A forecast. forecast. Let me see. Let me see. You can use navigation, maybe in a restaurant, a driving, restaurant menu as a weather forecast. Es el, el, la información del tiempo, weather forecast. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok. Thanks. La información del tiempo, like when, when it's raining, when it's wind. Yeah. Another? Everything is okay? Now, I have a question. Do you have any electronic device? Do you have yes. any electronic device? Yes. Who said, who said yes? I. Who? Okay. Um, Oscar. Cell phone, smartphone. Ah, okay. I have one. Okay, what kind of electronics device do you have? And a smartphone. Yes. Yes. And what, what do you you, what do you use it for the most? What do you use it for the most? In well, every time in the world and in my house. At work, in your yeah. house? What else? All time? In your all, job? All the time. In my job, in my work, in my house. Okay. And what kind of applications do you have? Well, right now, uh, Zoom. Hey. What? Repeat um, this? Right now, two. <laughs> okay, two but applications. I, I, I use WhatsApp and Google, another. Okay, thanks a lot. Another opinion. Do you have an electronic device? 
Yes. Who? Yes. Yes. What kind of electronic device do you have? Smart TV. Smart TV. Oh. What do you use it? For the mouse. mouse? In your house? Yes. Okay. It's nice. Another opinion. Do you have an electronic device? I have a smart TV. A smart TV. This is the question. Do you have an electronic device? Second question. What kind of electronic device do you have? Okay. And the third one is this one. Is what do you use it for the most? Okay. These are the questions. What do you have? Do you have an electronic device? You said uh, yes. You told me yes. What kind of electronic device do you have? And a smart TV, right? And a smart TV. And what do you use it for the most? Maybe Self, see uh, cell phone. A, a lot of movies, maybe. A cell phone, yeah. Cell phone and the PC. Um, other more. The tablet. A smartphone? Tablet. Yes. Yes, a smartphone and tablet, right? Now, we need to continue okay. with, other, with other topic. But in this case, you can read again or you can, you can listen and read again on the platform, this information, right? Now, continue. Do you have any questions for this reading? No. And then continues with another information. Here we have another topic that is personality types. And then for this topic, I put the video and audio. And then it is important to take notes about they said. Watch the video below and take note of the different personality types as well as the best yours. Best suited for each personality. After watching the video below, write in the discussion forum what personality types you are and what type of job you do. This information you you find on the platform too, and the audio too, but in this moment, I put the audio and try to, to write the information that you, that you listen, right? Van a, van a anotar las, los tipos de personalidades que escuchen, la información más relevante. Yo aquí tengo algo ya, pero se lo voy a poner, and then please pay attention. Personality types. Let me see. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. This is exercise a, a platform. Yes. Yes. But anoten ahorita lo que escuchen. Los tipos de personalidad, personality types. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. 
what should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. But they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. So they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science. But librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. The last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden? Thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. Welcome to Mathis and Colton. Okay, let me see. Okay, if you listen again, uh, there is in, in the platform too, this, uh, this audio. And then, uh, what is the six personality types? What are, what are the six personality types? Here we have. Artistic. Yes. Conventional. Conventional. Enterprising. 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 Investigative. Investigative. Realistic. Realistic. And social. Social. And social. Yes. Now. 
personality of artistic, we have creative and, and what? You write some information, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, imaginative. Imaginative. Imagination. Imaginative. Imaginative. Yes. And then, in conventional, what kind of personality they have? Practical and orderly. Order. Respond well to Order. rules. Yes. And enterprising, they are independent and risk-taking. They motivate others. Yes, they motivate others. Invest, investigative, investigative, logical and precise. Tend to focus on details. What about realistic? Hands on and physical. Work well with tools. What is the meaning of tools? Herramientas. 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 Yeah. Social. They prefer to work with others. And they are helpful and communicative. Now, in which job they are interested? In number, in number two, that is conventional, the careers are banking, law, or building inspection for the kind mm -hmm. of personality. And enterprising, the careers are business, business and sales, sales, management. sales management. Investigative, career arts, science, library, or science research. And realistic, repair, jewelry, making constructions engineers and social teaching, medicine, coaching, broadcast, journalism, and career advising. Now, I ask you, what is your, your favorite personality types? What is your favorite personality yes, types? Yes. Investigate. Yes. Investigative. Why? Artist. Artist, yeah. What about Aleli? What um, is your answer? Enterprising. 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 Why? Uh, independent. Because and the they business are... and sales management. Yes. And because they are independent and risk taking. And they motivate others. Yes. It's nice. Yes, it's nice, this yes. personality. Yeah. Yes, I, I have my business uh, online sport equipment for uh, martial arts and identification enterprising. Oh, excellent. Now, another opinion. What is your favorite personality types? Yes. For me, teacher. Roberto uh, Carlos. So, yeah. Social. Social. Why, Roberto? Yeah. And for the teaching. Okay. Do you like teaching? Yes, I like it. I okay. Like it. What kind of subject would you like to teach? And the uh, science. Science. Yes, science is nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Roberto. Thank you. Okay, and the last opinion. The last opinion. What is your favorite personality types? 
In my case, teacher, yes. uh, it is uh, enterprising. Why? Because independent and rich taking and motivated to other people. Yes. Yes, it's nice. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thanks for your participation. Now, uh, remember that this information is on the platform. And you can listen again and see the video again and take notes about the information because after watching the video below, write in the discussion forum. Tienen que escribir en el foro que aparece ahí en la, en la plataforma. Van a poner ahí la información que hayan tomado, su tipo de personalidad y qué clase de trabajo hacen, right? Teacher. I have right. a question. I have yeah. a question. I try to write in the forum, but I don't can't. What happened? Uh, I I don't I can't write in the in the forum. I don't mm. know. Okay. Let me see the, the platform after the class and, and, and we we are we can commune. We, okay. we, we can we can chat. Okay. Thanks, okay, teacher. after class. Uh -huh. Yo voy a revisar okay. eso y, y nos comunicamos okay. para, para ver si, si, no hay, si no hay problema. Ok, Thanks. now, ok, now here we have another important topic, that is, Yerun's a subject and object. Yerun's a subject and object. What is the meaning of Yerun's? Yerun's is the base form of a verb plus ing. Yerun's can be used as nouns. In this case, here we have verb plus ing equal noun. Here we have the first example. Work is the normal verb in, in simple present, right? Work. And plus ing is equals working. Working. In this case, esto se sufre un cambio. Miren, aquí decimos work, que es el verbo normal, más el ing working, se convierte en una acción, que es un verbo, le, le, se llama gerund, se llama gerundio. Entonces aquí se convierte en working. Working is a noun, es un nombre, right? Second example, pay. Plus ing is paying. Improve plus ing is improving. Ya? Yeah? When we add ing, there is a gerund. Now, here, we have another example. Yerun as a subject and object again. Now, boring is an important responsibility. Boring in this case is the verb plus ing. And then is here is the action. Here said, boring is an important responsibility. Me gustaría saber antes de continuar si ya vieron esta clase en la plataforma. ¿Quiénes vieron ya esta clase en la plataforma? Me. Ok. ¿Quién más? Mi teacher. Ok. Eh, recordarles que es muy importante que si o sea, hay que hacerlo, hay que entrar a la plataforma también, si pueden, antes de la clase, ustedes pueden adelantar contenido. Adelantar contenido porque tienen que ir haciendo los ejercicios que tienen que presentar el día viernes a más a dar a la medianoche. Tienen que enviar todo eso porque eh, la parte administrativa envía la información al INSAFOR. Por eso es que eh, ese es el último día que ustedes tienen que mandar toda la información y los ejercicios que aparecen en la plataforma. Entonces, usted puede adelantar contenido, puede ir viendo los contenidos con anticipación. Y ya cuando entramos a la clase, usted ya ha visto 
eh, toda la información que aparece ahí y solamente complementa con la, con la otra información que le doy. Por eso es importante. Y si no, pueden hacerlo también después, ¿verdad? Ver esta clase primero y la otra después. Pero tienen que ver las dos. Both are important. Eh, este es un audio que aparece también ahí en la, en la plataforma. Es un audio completo que es necesario para que ustedes puedan comprender bien el tema, aunque aquí les voy a explicar también otra parte. Pero eh, sí es importante que también lo vean el video completo. Yo en este caso les, voy a, les puse aquí unas, unas pictures, unas imágenes, y les voy a poner también el audio. Pero hay, hay, unas, hay dos prácticas al final del audio. Está la práctica 1 y la práctica 2. Ustedes lo van a escuchar también en la plataforma y van a, a completar esa práctica en su, en su cuaderno. Esa información es para usted, pero va a escuchar el audio para tratar de asimilar la información y sacar las respuestas que van en la práctica 1 y en la práctica 2, que están al final de este audio, de este que vamos a ver. ¿Ya? Ok, teacher. Ok. Now, boring is an important responsibility. Aquí dice, votar es, ¿qué? Una información o una responsabilidad importante. Boring is an important responsibility. Entonces, acá está actuando el verbo plus el ing está actuando como un sujeto. ¿Qué dijimos que era el sujeto y que era el objeto? El sujeto es quien hace la acción, ¿ya? Quien hace la acción y quien la recibe, ¿cómo se llama? Object. Object, que es el objeto, Object. es quien recibe la acción. El objeto es de lo que hablamos, es lo que se habla. Y el sujeto es de quien se habla. Y es de quien se habla. Now, here we have... Let's discuss improving our school. Let's discuss improving our school. Where is the verb here? Where is the verb? Improve. Improving. What is the verb? Improving. 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 Yes. Let's discuss improving our schools. Here, improving is a subject too. Improving. Our school, yes, is the verb plus ing. Now in number three, I will keep fighting for a new hospital. I will keep fighting for a new hospital. What is the gerund here? Fighting. 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 Yes. Fighting. In second, choosing a candidate takes time. What is the verb plus ing? Choosing. 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 A candidate Choosing. takes time. Yes? It's a subject because choosing a candidate takes. Choosing is de quien estamos hablando, que es escoger un candidato. Choosing a candidate. Now, I enjoy working for the people. What is the year on here? Working. Working. Yeah. Here, do you resent paying higher taxes? What is the, the year? Paying. 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 Now, here, let me see. Okay, here. Be careful, don't confuse gerunds with the present progressive with verb. Aquí se lo voy a explicar de otra forma. Vamos a ver acá. Let me see. Here. Here we have gerund phrases as subjects and gerund phrases as objects. First one. Here. First we have... The gerund phrases as subject. Being a fly attendant sounds exciting. Being a fly attendant sounds exciting. 
What is the meaning of this sentence? What is the meaning? Ser un asistente de vuelo. Ser un asistente de vuelo. Hay alguien que tiene una... Hay alguien que tiene interferencias con su micrófono. Ok, thanks. Ok, being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Dice, ser un asistente de vuelo suena emocionante. Emocionante. Being a flight attendant. Emocionante. Yes. Now, second one. Designing clothes is not a men's job. Designing clothes is not a men's job. Diseñar ropa. Diseñar ropa, ropa no es un trabajo para hombres. Para hombres, de, o de hombres. A men's job, un trabajo de hombres. Working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Working as a veterinarian. ¿De quién estamos hablando? Del trabajo como un veterinario. Working as a veterinarian. Veterinarian. Dice trabajar como un veterinario. Y aquí se lo voy a explicar en español para que se le sea más fácil. Vaya, here. In the first one. Being a flight attendant. Dice ser un asistente de vuelo. Es el sujeto de lo que estamos hablando. Miren, ser un asistente de vuelo. ¿Ya? Aquí, ¿de quién estamos hablando? Del asistente de vuelo. ¿Ya? Es el sujeto de quién estamos hablando. Being a flight attendant. Del asistente de vuelo. Now, designing clothes. Diseñar ropa. Designing clothes. Diseñar ropa. No es trabajo de hombres. Next, working as a veterinarian. Trabajar como un veterinario podría ser recompensado. O sería muy recompensado. Working as a veterinarian. Trabajar como un veterinario. Next. Directing a TV show. Dirigir un programa de televisión. Directing a TV show would be interesting. Entonces acá vemos el being, el designing clothes, working and directing. Eso es como una acción. Cuando es una acción, el verbo va primero, va con ing. Ing. Here is an action, an action that acts as a subject. And then being a flight attendant, designing clothes, working as a veterinarian, directing, directing a TV show. Here we have a subject. Why? Because it's at the, at the beginning of the sentence and it's an action. Now. Here we have gerund phrases as subjects. What is subject is who received the action, right? Now, he love being a fly attendant. He love being a fly attendant. Next, he wouldn't like being a fashion designer. She enjoy working with animals. She'll be, go, be good at directing a TV show. Now, here love being a flight attendant. What is the meaning of this sentence? Yeah? Le gustaría ser. A él le gustaría o él a María ser. Un asistente, asistente de vuelo. Asistente de vuelo. Asistente de vuelo. Yes. A él le gustaría ser un asistente de vuelo. ¿De quién estamos hablando aquí? De un... Del asistente de vuelo. Del asistente de vuelo. Que a él, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de él. Que a él le gustaría ser un asistente de vuelo. Entonces acá está actuando como un objeto. ¿Ya? Porque estamos, es lo que se habla. Y estamos hablando de... El verbo de... estaría actuando como objeto. Como objeto, yeah. Here, being, está como un objeto. Yeah? Now, second, he wouldn't like being a fashion designer. He wouldn't like being a fashion designer. A él 
no le gustaría ser un diseñador de moda. Un diseñador de moda. Y es, no le gustaría ser, ¿de quién estamos hablando? De él, right? De él. ¿Y qué es lo que estamos diciendo? Que no, le que no le gustaría ser un diseñador de moda. Diseñador. Ya, yeah. entonces aquí como es lo que se habla y lo que estamos diciendo es que, que ser un diseñador de moda. Entonces esto va en calidad de objeto. ¿Y es? Va en medio pero va con el ING. Ver plus ING. Now, she do enjoy working with animals. She would enjoy working with animals. A ella, ella disfruta trabajar con animales. ¿De quién estamos hablando? De ella. De ella. De ella. ella de And ella. then working with Siempre. animals is the object. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Now, she would be, she'd be good at directing a TV show. ¿De quién estamos hablando? De ella. Sí. De ella. Sí. De ella. And the object is directing a TV show. TV yep. show. The verb is yes. at the middle and plus ing. Yeah. Now, here we have examples. Look at the German phrases in column A. Tell your opinions of each job by choosing information from columns B. En sí. Ok, como casi es la hora, vamos a hacer rápidamente este ejercicio y necesito que este tema lo vean en la plataforma, porque okay. tienen que escuchar el, el audio y mañana vamos a solucionar lo que el audio dice, right? Escúchenlo ahora para que estén preparados mañana y mañana vamos a continuar con este tema también, right? Now, right. exercise. Look only three minutes more. Look at the German phrases in column A. Column A is here. Tell your opinion of each job by choosing information from columns B and C. What is the meaning of seems? Seems es parece o parecer. Sounds. Suena. Suena. Could be. Podría ser. Podría, podría, ser, podría puede ser. ser, could be, sería, sería, sería. could be, es, sería. could be, es, podría, would be, es, sería, y más, y, debería. Debería. debería ser, o debería ser, debería, debería ser, debería ser, debería ok, ser. yes, now, here we have some adjectives, adjectives are described, yeah, Awful, stressful, fantastic, fascinating, pretty difficult, kind of boring, really rewarding, and very challenging. For example, in number one, in my opinion, working as an account sounds stressful. Yeah? In my opinion, right? In my opinion, Designing clothes seems fantastic. Yeah? And then you choose one, one and then, and one here. Yeah, volunteer. Volunteer. Podría ser, in my opinion, o si no, I believe that, sí. creo que. In my, teacher, okay, in, my, tell me. In, my in my opinion. Taking care of children sound stressful. Stressful, excellent. Next. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Aleli, thanks. Um, my opinion, making a living as an artist sound mm, fantastic. Sounds fantastic. Another volunteer. Volunteer? In my opinion, yeah. making a living as an artist sounds fantastic. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. 
And I believe that taking care of children could be fascinating. I believe that working on a movie set must be awful. Yeah? Another, another volunteer. In my opinion, teacher. Yeah? Being a farmer must be really rewarding. Must be really rewarding. Excellent. Okay. Now, tomorrow we will continue with this topic. But don't forget that you need to enter to the platform and listen to the complete audio and do practice one and practice two. And tomorrow we will continue with the, with this topic, right? Okay, teacher. Right. Okay. okay. Have okay. you okay. Thanks for Bye. your Bye. responsibility. Bye. Good night. Have a nice night. Tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Good tomorrow.